does it come, you know, where is there a line that can't be crossed, exactly. essentially, is what you're looking for. Uh, it's tough to say, man. You know, from a, from a respect perspective and the way that we look at things as martial artists, I totally understand, you know, how people look at those sort of things. Where, especially like you said, you know, we kind of have groups of schools and teammates and things, and you're saying that, like, you know, relatively... Don't mention it, kid. Of course. <laughs> and that's on those, my friends. Yeah, yeah who knows. Um, but of course, you know, there's obviously some respect, especially among teammates, you know what I mean? We have Gracie Baja guys training with us, and... Uh, <laughs> We have Gracie Baja guys training with us, and Henzo guys will go down and train, you know, occasionally with those guys. So as a family, we obviously are, you know, connected in some ways, and uh, we are respectful to one another in the gym, you know. I think, um, but I think there needs to be some sort of a disconnect between the two, because um, what people need to realize is that ultimately now. Jiu-Jitsu is more than just going out and competing for fun. Right now, there's money on the line and there's a promotional value to it. There's some excitement that people want to see building up to these fights. And ultimately, I know it's a sad thing. I know a lot of people are just like, oh, you know, it's 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 like WWE, it's like uh, MMA, whatever. And they're, they're disappointed by this fact because um, they're just in it for the spirit of jiu-jitsu and they just train, you know, at their academy and they, they look at respect and discipline and all these things. They understand we value these things too on the mats, but it's just a totally different perspective when you're dealing with promoting a fight, okay? When it comes to disrespect, whatever the case may be, you know, uh, does are, is there a little bit of truth behind some of the things that, that Gordon might say about his opponent? Of course, there has to be, otherwise it's fake. Yeah, you know what exactly. I mean? You're not just gonna make things up. Yeah, exactly. You know, is there a little bit of truth? Of course. But does he respect him more than that? Of course he does. I mean, Gordon sees all the things that this guy wins. He does. He, it's not like he thinks he sucks. If he thought he sucks, he wouldn't want to compete against him. You know what I mean? Um, so, uh, there. of course, I, I get what people are saying with, oh, you're crossing the line, you're talking too much shit, this, that, and the other thing. There's always going to be people out there that say that. There's always going to there's gonna be people that are offended. And, you know, it is what it is. You know, everybody takes a little bit of a different approach. Um, I believe that, that there's room for, um, you know, being respectful and, you know, a little bit of shit talking, having fun, creating some drama, creating a storyline. Um, you know, where does it cross the line? I don't know. I've always been a huge believer in there never being a line that you can't cross. I mean, we, we come from Jersey. We just constantly make fun of each other, each other's mothers, and, you know, we don't care. You know, I'll call Gordon an asshole. He does the same thing to me, and we don't really get affected by it. it from person to person, some people don't feel that way, though. Some people are really insulted if you say something about their mom or this, that, and the other thing. And We are talking about people of different countries. Yes, You know, yes. different cultures. Even more so, yeah. yes. Even and more so. Exactly. Yeah. So even more so than just me saying, like, in New Jersey, that's how we are. I mean, yeah, exactly, in Brazil. I mean, I've heard, um, for instance, I'll give you an example. I think uh, when we were in the Kumite, it was like me and a bunch of these other guys. It was a brown belt thing, if anybody's interested. Uh, I think at one point, AJ called one of the Brazilian guys that was, like, refing or something. He called him, like, a motherfucker. But in Portuguese, however he said it, is like much more offensive than me saying that to somebody in English. And the guy was like really upset about it, like wanted to fight him, like, you know, it was like a really big problem. And he was like crying because ultimately Lloyd told him he couldn't, you yeah. know, fight him because of the show and everything. So he's so frustrated and angry that he couldn't do anything about the insult, you know. But I, and that was the first time I ever saw somebody react like that to like that kind of an insult. To me, it's no big deal, but to somebody else, you know, especially like you said, a different culture, a different country, you know, maybe it's like a huge deal and you know, it's something that you can't say. So I, I understand, you know, I understand that and I take the risk in the pursuit of, of making jiu-jitsu more exciting, more professional, um, and something more people want to watch, you know. Well, remember, in other words, the buzz is more important, right? Ultimately, yes, yeah. you know, uh, not on the mats when we're training, that's different. You know what I mean? Um, do we mess with each other on the mask? Sure. But what I'm saying is, you know, would I would I talk shit to Felipe like that if he came to Henzo's? Probably not. Yeah. You know, why would I? You know what I mean? It's a friendly encounter. He's coming there to train. I would never, you know, why would I do that? You know, it's completely different. Uh, I feel they're, they're two different realms. You know, one, uh, I'm trying to create, you know, something for a match that people want to see. Remember, like, we look at things from a perspective of we do jujitsu and we want to see a technical match. We're thinking about the technique of jujitsu. There are people now that are watching jiu-jitsu and MMA that know nothing about jiu-jitsu and MMA, or very little. So the technique and the moves and all those things are, are only a small piece of what they see. They look at like drama surrounding a match, like two friends fight feuding over, you know, somebody cheating on somebody or this, that, and the other thing. Those are, that's drama. People go to the movies to see drama. They don't go to the movies to see somebody just, you know, living their life perfectly happy and nothing goes wrong, you know, like so. boring, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah, exactly. You gotta, so, you gotta have a struggle, right? Yes, yes. To, so, have, to have a plot, you gotta have a yeah, struggle. Yeah. yeah, so I think that's what we're trying to create. Is it gonna rub some people the wrong way? Yes, right. you know, I'm ready for that. <laughs>